Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about another new feature in the ICX 8090 code uh, called MVRP or Multiple VLAN Registration Protocol. And so uh, this is MVRP is an IEEE standard 802.1ak uh, and is a replacement for GVRP. Um, so MVRP basically is used for dynamic VLAN registration. So it is used to automatically create VLANs across your uplinks, right? So rather than having to go to each switch and creating that VLAN, you're going to create it when you create a VLAN at the at an edge port, for example, that VLAN will get propagated across the network. Um, so it's available on all of the ICX 7000 series, so 7150, 7250, 7450, etc. Uh, no licensing is required. It's available on the base image. Um, uh, the caveat here is that today, at least, it works only with single spanning tree or single rapid spanning tree. It does not work today with per VLAN spanning tree or multiple spanning tree. So uh, that would be the, the caveat um, uh, to be aware of. Um, now, router code, which I am going to use in this demonstration, doesn't have any spanning tree turned on by default. So you should at least turn on, you know, single spanning tree or, or single rapid even better. So the advantages to MVRP are um, rather than, you know, I know a lot of people will, will do a, you know, allow VLAN all uh, to propagate all their VLANs from switch to switch. Um, however, the problem with that is you've got broadcast and unknown unicast and multicast traffic traversing your uplinks that are wasting your bandwidth, right? Because they are they are traversing all of those VLANs when they're not required. And you may have hundreds of VLANs traversing your uplinks when you only need, you know, a couple of VLANs on an edge switch. So um, it's going to reduce that because it's not, um, you know, sending all that traffic. Uh, it reduces the chance of errors in VLAN configuration. So definitely one of our biggest, um, uh, you know, help desk uh, calls is is VLAN configuration because people have, you know, uh, either misconfigured the VLAN with tagged or untagged on the wrong ports, uh, or they've forgotten to tag an uplink or, you know, something like that. So it reduces that um, because it automatically builds that configuration for you. And lastly, um, it automatically makes changes, right? So if, when you create a VLAN, say you need a VLAN out to a, to a PC on the edge or to a, um, you know, to an access point, it's automatically going to propagate that VLAN across your network and make changes. So if you make a change to that VLAN, it's going to get propagated dynamically across your environment without you having to touch every uplink um, and every switch in your environment. So, um, you know, so uh, definitely a huge time saver for you as an administrator. So what I'm going to build here is I have a core, um, I have edge one, edge two, I have an access point hanging off edge two, uh, and I'm going to create VLAN 10 and 20 out here um, and watch them propagate across. And I'm going to create VLAN 30 out here on the core and have it propagate. So um, we should see kind of a bi-directional propagation um, or at least awareness across those those uplinks, even if it doesn't need to propagate. So let's have a look at how that goes. So really, we only need to do in, in this in this video, um, we're only doing basic parameters, right? So uh, in the next uh, part of this video, then we'll do things like timers and VLAN creation disable and, um, you know, uh, uh, registration mode forbidden. So we'll do s some more advanced features. But right now, we're only going to do step one and step three here. So we're going to enable MVRP globally. We're going to enable the interface where it's needed. And then we'll look at some show commands. But all the optional stuff we'll leave for the next video. So really, all we have to do is we do an MVRP enable globally, we go to the interfaces, the uplink interfaces, and turn on MVRP. Then we'll create the VLANs um, for the users and add the user ports. So once those user ports are added, those VLANs will automatically get added to the MVRP enable uplink. So um, so we don't add that, that VLAN into the MVRP uplink port, and we don't add uh, or enable MVRP to the user ports, right? So the MVRP is only running on the uplink ports. 
Okay, so um, I have my three devices, Core, Edge 1, Edge 2. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start a Core here, and so I'll go into Config T. I'm going to do an MVRP enable, right? Um, then I'm going to go to the uplink interface, so interface E1 slash 3 slash 1 and do an MVRP enable here, right? And so that's it. So MVRP is now up, it's running. It's gonna talk to the other devices um, across that uplink port. Now the other devices aren't configured yet, so it's not gonna do anything, but you know, the basics are done here. So the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create VLAN 30, I'm gonna tag E1 slash two, not one slash, one slash two, excuse me. Okay, and I'm going to uh, create VLAN 10 just to see that how that propagates, and we'll untag E1 slash 1 slash 2. Okay, so I've added VLAN uh, 10 and 30. So if I do a show run here, you'll see, nope, oh, sorry, we'll see VLAN 10 and 30. We don't see VLAN 20, so keep that in mind for later. Um, but that's pretty much it, right? So I've, I've enabled MVRP on my uplink port. So let's drop over to edge one. So remember, this is our, our man in the middle, right? So we're not going to create any new VLANs. All we're going to do on this guy is we're going to do an MVRP enable. And then on interface E131 and E132, uh, we are going to do an MVRP enable, and that's it. So um, there is not, there is no VLANs created on this other than the default VLAN. So uh, 10, 20, and 30 do not exist on Edge One yet. Uh, and then lastly, we'll do an MVRP enable here on Edge Two. Uh, we are going to do it on the uplink, which is 131. Uh, we'll do an MVRP enable. Okay, and then we're going to create a user port. So um, uh, we'll create VLAN 10, and we're going to tag E111. Uh, one, one, one. VLAN 20, we're going to tag E111. One, one, one. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Okay, so we've got our two VLANs created, right? So I do not have VLAN 30 here. I've added my user port in. I did not add my MVRP port uh, into that VLAN, right? Which is 131. Uh, 131, I have MVRP enabled. So really that should be it. That should be our topology. So. We can now do um, show MVRP, right? So we see it's enabled for one port. It's globally enabled. Dynamic VLAN creation is enabled. We'll talk about that in the next video. The timers are left at default. Again, we'll talk about those in the next video. And then uh, 131 uh, has MVRP enabled, right? So we can also look at... Um, E131 if we want to see an individual interface okay so what we see here is um, we see point to point no uh, normal participant mode for applicant mode it's normal participant which is the default then we see our registered VLANs versus our declared VLANs right okay so declared VLANs is what I'm telling my neighbor to propagate right I'm declaring to my neighbor that I have 1 10 and 20 right registered VLANs so I'm receiving 1 10 20 30 oh, well 10 and 20 are coming from me but but also 10 and 30 so I've received this VLAN 30 uh, from edge 1 okay so I've registered that those are possible now, that doesn't mean that I'm running VLAN 30 because I have no ports in VLAN 30, right? So um, I'm registering it as as I'm 
uh, it's possible I can get that VLAN if I want to add a port into VLAN 30 then it will propagate to me but otherwise um, so we can also look at um, show MVRP attributes so we can see the attributes for each VLAN right so quiet active quiet active very anxious observer so this means I'm observing this VLAN right VLAN 30 I'm receiving that VLAN from my uplink or at least the ability to receive that VLAN, right? So I'm observing it, but I'm not I'm I'm not actually registered. I don't actually have a port in that VLAN. So so I'm just an observer in that VLAN. And then I can also do an attribute E131 if I want to see an attribute for a specific port, right? But but show MVRP attributes would have given me the same thing. So uh, again, if I drop over to Edge 1 here, remember Edge 1 doesn't have VLAN 1020 or 30, so let's see what it says. So show MVRP, I have, an, I have uh, two ports, I have it enabled for 131, and then let's look at my ports here. 131, so I see um, 10 and 30 coming from that port as registered, and I'm sending 10 and 20 out out to that port so I'm telling that port that I can get uh, 10 and 20 if they need it right and then um, looking at 2 it, it's going to be the opposite right so I am what I'm declaring uh, is what I'm telling my neighbor that it, that I, I have available should they need it and the same thing over here show MVRP uh, I have it on one port so show, show MVRP E131 three one right same thing so my registered VLAN 10 20 30 um, and then I'm declaring 10 and uh, 30 out to my neighbor so basically that's it right it's it's propagating 10 20 and 30 10 20 and 30 appropriately um, and uh, I just needed to uh, to put a port into 30 uh, on edge 2 if I wished edge 2 to receive that but otherwise it's going to prune that off so in the next video, again, we'll talk about timers and, and um, some other things that you can do to, to, to control where those VLANs go should you wish to. But that's the basics, right? Turn it on globally, turn it on in the interfaces, and then create those user VLANs, and they'll propagate for you as easy as that. All right, so uh, thanks for joining, and have a great day. We'll see you next time. Take care.